What's going on guys? It's Dave with Rockin' Life. Got another food review for you guys. Today, got some uh, Arby's. Almost said the wrong one. Uh, so, I'm sure you guys, some of you guys have seen the um, new big city sandwiches they have out. So, I had to try them. And I went in there and I ordered two sandwiches actually. The uh, Chicago style beef dip and the, uh, the big meat one. Whatever it's got to get the name here in a minute, but uh, and it was like $15. And I was like, what the hell? That's crazy expensive So then I saw the the sign off to the side is like the the meat when it's big meat when it's ten dollars Just for the sandwich I was like damn if I would have known that I probably wouldn't order ahead of time, but um <clears throat> Without further ado, let me tell you what guys sandwiches are about first off uh, the uh, Chicago style beef dip is like five bucks or something by itself and then there's a uh another uh philly like a philly steak and cheese sandwich too but i didn't get it because I, I can't eat three sandwiches i'd be lucky to eat this but um plus it's, it just looks like a reiteration of another sandwich that i've already had before just like a different like something added on they've had phillies before and stuff so and the same with this uh, chicago style beef dip but anyways Without further ado, I'll tell you what it's on this Chicago style beef dip. Uh, I got it here on my phone. Uh, roast beef, melted cheese, uh, fire roasted peppers, Italian seasonings on a toasted bun with a side of au jus sauce, dipping sauce. And let's go to the, uh, let me get to the other sandwich for you. It is, they have some fish sandwiches too, but it's the same old fish they've had, so... Oh, it's called Meat Mountain is the big meat sandwich. It's got, uh, there's a picture of it. I'll show you guys here. Yeah, look at all that meat. But, uh, it's got two chicken tenders, uh, turkey, pit smoked ham, corned beef, which I didn't get because I don't like corned beef. Uh, 13 hour smoked brisket. USDA choice Angus steak, which I'm not, the steak's okay, I'm not real big on it. Uh, roast beef, of course, and pepper bacon. Then cheddar and Swiss cheese, somewhere in there it says. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Without further ado, let's taste the uh, Chicago style first, the uh, uh, fire dip. Ooh, well, the au jus, you know what au jus is. If you've had it before, I can't really get up to the camera very good without spilling it, but it's, it's just all juice sauce. Um, here's what the Chicago Fire Dip looks like. Not bad. I'm not a big fan of peppers like that, but I left them on there because I'll take them. It's banana peppers and red peppers, so uh, and some yellow bell peppers too. Looks like it's got a lot of that Italian seasoning on it, so that's pretty good. Um... Just trying to get these peppers in there so when I pull it out, it won't get bald like crazy. Ooh, we got a hard piece of banana pepper. Don't want that. All right. So without further, here's what I'll open it up for you guys. You can basically see the seasoning and stuff like that in it. They got all the banana peppers on one side. So let me rearrange them and then rip it in half. And Here we go. I'll try it with this and without the dip and with the dip. Oh, man. It's actually better than what I thought. That Italian seasoning is just what makes it. It's got maybe a little bit of a spice. Not real spicy at all, like very mild spice. But uh, that Italian seasoning, you can taste that on the beef. It just hits you instantly. The cheese, that's the second thing. That's also, you can taste that a lot. That cheese there. Uh, I don't know if it's provolone or what exactly, but the white cheese, it, it's the second thing that's that's definitely there that you can taste. Uh, the peppers are on third. You taste them kind of after that. But uh, yeah, just a normal, regular uh, bun there, roll, whatever you want to call it. And let's dip it in this au jus and try that. I like their au jus. I like homemade au jus or like, you know, real Philly steak places too those are really good but uh let's try it man 
That's even better than the au jus sauce. I tell you what, I will without a doubt buy this again. It's better than the original au jus dip sub because it's got way more flavor. The original au jus dip, it's okay, but it's a little lacking on the flavor on the sub part. But this has a lot of flavor on the sub. I mean, it's good without the au jus sauce. So there you go. That tells you right there. But okay, well, enough of that. Let's get to the main event. Let's get this uh, meat mountain. Take a look, guys. I don't know since they got without corned beef if they added something else or what. They better for 10 freaking dollars. I'm just trying to eat a couple pieces here, as you see, so it ain't falling off. Damn, it meat's like cold and shit. I got it out of there. That must be an Anka steak. It's pretty good. It's cold, though. Like, it's not a warm part. Oh, it's got, yeah, there, here you go. You can basically see all that shit on there. It doesn't look like there's any sauce. Flip it. Flip it over. There. Okay. Yeah, it does got a lot of meat and shit on it, but it's like $10, maybe 7 or 8 but I won't buy it again for $10. That's not worth it. I mean, yeah, it's got a shit ton of meat, but 7 or $8 would be plenty to me. Anyways, let's try this out and see. Everything is fucked. There goes the chicken strip. There's no sauce on it. Everything is cold, except for the chicken strips. So, I'm not digging that. I thought I want everything to be warm. Oh well, shit, chicken strip keeps falling out. But without further ado, let's try this. With the chicken. Mmm. I'm getting a chicken strip mostly. It's like the big kicker of the flavor. And then the bacon. The rest of the meat just kind of eh, in there. Can't, it don't really stand out. Let's try a couple more. That body didn't have the uh, chicken strip. And the steak stood out. And the ham more. So. I mean, yeah, I'd say it's good, but. It would be a lot better if all the meats were warm and not cold meats. And if the cheese is melted, cold. Sorry about the spit. If the, it's, if the uh, cheese was cheese is cold too, if it was like melted somewhat, and it had some kind of sauce on it or seasoning or something, it's just like there's no sauce or nothing. So it's kind of plain in my opinion. It's good, but it's what you expect. It's just a bunch of meats flavors all together. And that's about it. The two cheeses, you can't taste that much because it's all the meat. You basically just taste all these meats together like you would think you would. So, uh, one last bite here. Yeah. I'm not complaining at all. It's really good. I'm going to cut this short because this is going on pretty long here. Um. <clears throat> Anyways, the Chicago uh, Fire Dip Sandwich, I'll you. I'll give it a uh, out of five. I'll give it a five because it was just I loved it. Yeah. So this Meat Mountain Big Old Sandwich, we'll give it a um, mm, we'll give it a three. Cause I mean it's it's not bad, but just because I'm at, I'm weighing in the price on that too. So I mean. Yeah, I'll say a three. 
kind of in the middle there. Could be a lot better. Good things could be improved with it. But uh, like I said, the price could be better with sauce on it. Warm meats. So uh, that's my opinion, guys. Hope you guys like this review. Thanks for watching and have a good one.